What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your RX230 crossover. Now let me quickly explain what a crossover actually does. Basically crossovers split the signal coming from your source so that each speaker is playing a specific frequency range, which helps you shape the sound in a very detailed and precise way. This will help your main full range speakers play louder without distorting by cutting the low end frequencies it wasn't designed to play. And this will also help your subs play louder and thump your bass when you cut off those high-end frequencies they weren't supposed to play. So as you can see, it comes with the unit itself, which has built-in rack ears so we can mount it to any rack mount or rack bag by screwing it in using the four corners. You'll see that we have two channels that we can use and they sub out in the middle. You can think of channel one as your left channel and channel two as your right channel. Now the RX230 gives us two options to use it as either a two-way stereo crossover or a three-way mono crossover. I'll show you guys the two-way crossover, which is very commonly used and very easy to follow even with no experience. All right, so here I have two subwoofers, two full range speakers, an amp that powers each set of speakers, and my signal source, which in this case is my passive mixer that I'm gonna be using with my crossover. So I'm gonna be using the subwoofers for my low outputs and the full range speakers for my high outputs. Now we already set up our speakers to each amplifier, so in this case I'm using my full range speakers with my RPA 5 amp, and I'm using my two subwoofers with our RPA 12 amp. So now I'm gonna connect both amplifiers into my crossover. So I'm gonna start by connecting the RPA 12, which is my amp for my subwoofers, into the crossover. So I'm gonna need two XLR cables for that. I'm gonna take the female ends of both cables and plug them into the low outputs for channel one and two on my crossover. Then I'm gonna take the male ends and plug them into the XLR inputs on my RPA 12. So now I'm gonna connect the amp for my full range speakers, the RPA5, into the crossover with two more XLR cables. I'm gonna take the female ends of these cables and plug them into the XLR high outputs on my crossover. Then I'll take the male ends and plug them into the XLR inputs on my RPA5. So now I'm gonna connect my crossover into my signal source, which again is my passive mixer with two more XLR cables. I'm gonna take the female ends of both cables and plug them into the XLR output puts on my mixer. Then I'll take the male ends and plug them into the XLR inputs of channel one and two on my crossover. So now we can go ahead and turn everything on in our setup, starting with the passive mixer. Next I'll turn on both amplifiers. Then I'll turn on my crossover. Now to set which frequencies go to the low and high speakers in our two-way setup, we'll use the low high knob. This is the most important knob for this item because this is where the magic happens. And keep in mind, you have one of these per channel. So let's say we set both knobs at 250 hertz. Everything from 250 hertz and below will go to our low speakers, and everything from 250 hertz up go to our high speakers. This way we won't have any high-end frequencies coming out of our subwoofers, so you're only hearing that earth-shattering low end, and your high speakers will be playing all the mid to high frequencies, in turn allowing you to set the volume higher on your high speakers without any distortion. Next you'll want to raise the low and high output knobs, which will set the volume coming out of the low and high speakers. Next we have the crossover frequency switch, which will multiply the frequency band that we have control over. So if I press that down, one kilohertz turns to 10 kilohertz, giving me a wider option of frequencies to use. There's also a 40 hertz low cut button on each channel, which will cut out anything from 40 hertz and below. You would generally want to use this if you're using the sub output on your crossover, so that this way everything from 40 hertz down isn't being sent to your mid to low end speakers, which will allow you to send them through the sub output. The sub output gives us the option to connect another subwoofer to our setup. We can use the X over frequency knob to set the frequencies coming out of the subwoofer and the gain knob to set the volume coming out of the sub. Now we don't have to use the sub output for basic setups. This is more for advanced setups when you're separating your highs, mids, and low frequencies. For example, if your PA speakers have separate amps for your highs and mids, this would be a perfect feature to use. But again, you don't have to use the sub output for most setups because the most common one is this one right here with the subs going to our low section 
and the highs going to our high section with the crossover being set around 250 hertz. So to continue with our setup, we're gonna raise the volume knobs on our amps. Then we'll raise the input knobs so that everything from our signal source is getting pushed out to the crossover. Then we'll raise the main left and right faders here on our mixer. And since I have music playing through a channel on our mixer, I'll raise the volume and gain knob for that channel as well. So for this demo we're about to do, I'm gonna play some music from the main speakers, then I'll bring in my subs, and then I'll adjust the crossover point so we really hear how it affects the sound. Okay, so everything right now is playing through the main speakers, which is playing everything from 250 hertz and above. I'm gonna start bringing in those subwoofers now. There you go. Start to hear a lot more low end coming through for a nice blend of sound. I'm gonna adjust the crossover point now. I'm gonna bring it at about 500 hertz. Okay, so now we're sending a lot more mid frequencies through the subs. Here, I'll lower the high end so you can really hear what's going on with the subs. Yeah, yeah, you hear a lot more mid frequencies coming through the subs as well. And I'm gonna adjust the crossover a little more to 750 hertz. So you hear even more high end coming through the subs and everything above 750 hertz will come through our main speakers if we raise the volume for those. There you go. Pretty cool. I'm gonna bring it back to our standard crossover point now at 250 hertz. Now we also have the option to use the RX230 as a three-way crossover with the additional sub output. We can set it to mono mode by pressing the button in the middle. In this mode, the crossover will split the signal source across three different frequency ranges between three separate speakers. So you'll be able to adjust the high, mid, and low frequencies, and you'll still be able to use the sub output for additional low end. In mono mode, there's one sum signal, so channels one and two are working together. On the back, you'll notice that the outputs are labeled differently on the bottom for when we're in this mode, so you'll know which speakers are playing which frequency ranges. You can also adjust the volumes for the high, mids, and lows, as well as the additional sub output. And of course, you'll be able to set the frequency cutoffs between your high mids and your mid lows. But again, for most applications, you'll want to go ahead with the two-way crossover setup since it's the most commonly used setup. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RX230 crossover. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time. Wow, wow.